quadratic word problems, bridges, and tunnels. So I'm going to do three different word problems for you. One where it's a, a concave up parabola, one where it's a bridge with a concave down or a tunnel, and the last one is going to be one where we're trying to find the equation of the parabola and also see if we can pass a sailboat underneath the bridge. So if these are the easy ones for you, you might want to skip down to the number three. Okay, so the Brooklyn Bridge is a, is a suspension bridge in New York City that connects Brooklyn to the island of Manhattan. So if you don't know what a suspension bridge is, this is what they look like. I did my best to draw one. I'm not an artist. If the origin is placed at the top of one of the support towers, okay, so let's take out a ruler and get the origin at the top of the support tower. So remember, the or origin, sorry, is just where it is zero, zero, right, on the axis. So here's my axis like this. Here's the origin. This is height on this axis, and this is horizontal distance. Okay, so we've drawn something on here, and we have an equation, and we've got meters and meters. Okay, so there's a lot of words there. A lot of them aren't really necessary. This, the origin, is placed at the top of one of the support towers. My equation is very important in this little word problem, and we know everything's in meters. Okay. So question A says, what is the vertical distance from the top of a support tower to the lowest point on a cable to the nearest meter? So I want to know this distance here. Okay, so it's going to be under my axis here, so I'm going to get a negative value, but I want to know the distance, and the distance is going to be um, the absolute distance, so we would call it positive. So if you look at our equation, you can see that we have a parabola that is concave up. How do I know that? Well, because the A value is positive. You should also note that it has quite a compression here, right? So this is stretched out over a very long like going over one, you're not going to go up one because this is 0. 0.0008. Okay, so I want to know um, this point here, but I don't know how far it is from here to here, so I don't know where the midpoint is. So what I need to do is find the zeros because I'm going to find, I know this one is zero and I need to find out what this one is over here, so I'll know how long this is. Actually, that's question B, but sometimes it's a good idea to read all of the questions first, because then that might help you decide on how you're going to solve this. If I need to find the length of the main span, that means I need to find the zeros, and therefore, in order to find the axis of symmetry, I can just add them up and divide by two. So let's find the zeros here. What is this one and this one? And I'm going to do that by factoring out the common factor here, which is 0 0.0008D. When there's questions with lots of zeros, make sure you count them. I was doing this a little bit earlier and I ended up with one, two, one few fewer than I needed. Okay, so here we go. Don't write and talk at the same time. Okay, so here's my two factors here. So I get this one is zero, and of course that's this one here. And the other one is 480. So to find zeros, set h equal to zero. So d is equal to zero and 480 because 0 makes this 0 and 480 makes that one 0. So the total distance from here to here is 480 meters. So I know that the um, lowest point is going to be halfway between so I want to know when I'm at 240 what is the coordinate here. So what is the height? 
Okay, so that's easy enough to do. All we have to do is plug in 240 into my equation, and that's going to give me the height. So 0 0.000, I counted 1, 2, 3. And I'm putting in 240 because I want to know halfway between. And I'm going to square that and minus 0 0.384 times 240. Okay, so if you do the math on this, you're just going to put this in your calculator. Um, I would get this becomes 46.08 minus 92.16, and I get negative 46.08. Okay, so that means this height here is minus 46.08, and the vertical distance will be 46. It says to the nearest meter, so for A, the vertical distance required, I'm just going to write, because I don't have lots of room, is 46 meters. Okay, so what is the length of the span? We already solved that one. Span is 480 meters. At a horizontal distance of 50 meters from one end of the cable, how far is the cable below the top of the support towers to the nearest meter? So all you're asked to find here is when we're at 50 meters, 50 meters from one end of the cable. So we could either use 50 here or we could use 430 here. So that's just 480 minus 50, and this is 50 from 0. Okay, so all you have to do is plug that into the equation. Doesn't matter which one you use, you can try both if you want, but you can see that you're going to get the same height. So how far below is it going to be? So for C, we'll do it right here. So we get h is equal to 0 0.1238 and I'm going to put in 50. There's no point in using any bigger number than we need to. 0 0.384 times 50 and that comes out to minus 17.2 which makes sense. It's below our axis that we put on the graph here and it says to the nearest meter so C is going to be, um, cable is 17 meters below the top. Below the top of the support tower. To the nearest meter. You would write all that out in your answer. Okay, there you go. And there's our Brooklyn Bridge question. Okay, let's go on to the second one, which is the equation for the arch of a tunnel is given by this, where H is in the height in meters and D is the horizontal distance from the center. How wide is the tunnel? Okay, how wide is it? So again, this one is going to be concave down. So it's going to be, and this is, H is the height in meters and D is the horizontal distance from the center. So if we have a bridge like this or a tunnel like this, and the equation is from the center outwards. So if that's from the center outwards, you should be able to tell me where the maximum is because if this was put into vertex form, I would be able to write it like this, right? D plus zero squared plus 2.13. Remember we talked about that in one of the previous lessons. So the vertex is zero and 2.13. So this is zero, 2.13, and that means that my axis is here, right? So this is my H here, and this is D going this way. 
Okay, so how wide is the tunnel? Okay, so we need to find the zeros, right? Find zeros for this equation. So we're going to set h equal to zero, and that's going to give me this equation, minus 0 0.06 d squared plus 2.13 is equal to zero. Now you might say, oh, how am I going to solve that? You could use a quadratic formula where your b value would be zero, right, because you don't have a d in here. But this is so easy. You can solve this just by bringing this to the other side of the equation and dividing. So watch, this is, this is the easy way to do it. Okay, so they're both negative. I'm going to divide, they're going to be positive. So 2.13 divided by 0 0.06. So I divide that through and I get d squared is approximately equal to, well, let's see if it's exact. Check it out. 2.13 divided by 0 0.06. And I put in the wrong decimal. 2.13 divided by 0 0.06. 35.5, so it's exactly, we don't need it approximately, it's exactly 35.5. And now I'm going to take the square root of that, so I get 1d. And so second square root, second answer equals, and I get 5.958. So it didn't say to the nearest meter, so we'll just leave it at 5.958. 9, 6. Okay, so that means from here to here is 5.96. And this end here, because this is 0, this is going to be, well, we should have put that in here in our calculation, shouldn't we? When you take the square root of number, you get plus or minus. So this is going to be minus 5.96 here. So how wide is the tunnel? How, no, sorry, yeah, how wide is the tunnel? Okay, so therefore the tunnel, the tunnel is 5.96 times two, because from here to here and here to here. So I'm gonna multiply that by two, and I get 11.9 meters wide. Okay, so how tall is the, how high is the tunnel two meters from the end? So two meters from the end, that's going to be here. So that's going to be 5.96. This is two, so this is going to be 3.96. And that's all you have to do, just plug that in to the equation to find your other value, right? Two meters from the end. So two meters, is part B from the end from the end you sub in 3.96 so 5.96 minus 2 equals 3.96 so H equals minus 0 0.06 plug in your 3.96 square it and add 2.13 Okay, so let's do that. 3.96 squared and times negative 0 0.06 and add 2.13 gives me 1.189, so 1.19, 1.19, therefore two meters from the end. You don't put any um, units in your calculation, just in your solution, right? Two meters from the end, the tunnel is approximately 1.19 meters. And there you go. There's your tunnel question. Okay, so the last one I'm going to do for you, this one is probably the trickiest one. It says, the underside of a bridge has the shape of a parabolic arch. 
It has a maximum height of 30 meters and a width of 50 meters. Can a sailboat with a mast of 28 meters above the water pass under the bridge eight meters from the center of the bridge? Okay, so draw yourself a little picture because you're going to need to find the equation here. There's no equation given, right? So we're going to, we're going to make a sketch. Here's our axes like this. And we have a parabolic arch. That doesn't have to be to scale, right? You just want to have something to work with. So it has a maximum height of 30 meters. So that's here. 30 meters. This is height. And um, parabolic arch, maximum height, and a width. Okay, so this is the width here. So we'll just call it, um, well, we'll call it W if you want, the width. Okay, so right here we have 30 meters. So that's our height, that's our Y coordinate. And what will our X coordinate be? They tell us that it has a width of 50 meters. So this is 50, this has to be 25 because it's a parabola and that's the middle point. Here's, we started at zero. So I have coordinates 25 and 30, that's my vertex. And I have a point here, I have a point here. So I have an X, Y, an H and a K and I need to find A. So I need to find out, um, you can choose, you can use the vertex form or you can use the factored form. I'm going to write out the factored form because I have both zeros. So I'll use my vertex as my point on the graph. Now you could use the vertex form as well. So don't say, oh, why did she do that? I was going to use vertex form. You can use vertex, no problem. If you want, I'll do them both. Okay, so my my coordinate is going to be this, so x is going to be 25, y is going to be 30, my s is 0, that's this root here, or the, the um, x-intercept here, and this x-intercept is 50, so t equals 50. So now I plug all that in to solve for a, remember I need to know the a value. So. They don't tell you to make an equation, but in order for you to figure out if this is going to fit under the bridge, you need to have an equation to check the height at a certain point, right? Eight meters from the center. So like here, right? Eight meters from the center. Or I could go this way. So that's going to be at either 33, eight meters or 17. So. I'm adding and subtracting 8 meters. We want the sailboat to go through 8 meters from the center. Okay, so let's plug this in to find our A value. So our Y is 30. We're solving for A. That's great. Our X is 25. And I'm subtracting S, which is 0. And T, which is 50. So 30 equals A times 25 times minus 25, and 25 squared is 625, it's negative. So 30 equals negative 625a, and a is equal to minus 30 over 625. Okay, so now my equation, equation in factored form, in factored form, will be y equals, we put our a back in, right? And we have x's and y's. So I have x minus zero, x minus 50. Okay, so there's my, there's my equation. Okay, so will the sailboat fit? So we need to plug in the value of where the sailboat's going to go through. So the sailboat's going to go through at this point here, so 33 or 17. So I added or subtracted 8 from 25. Okay, this way 8 or this way 8. 8, 8. 
So I'm going to say what happens when it's 17. What is y going to be? What is the height when x is 17? Okay, so here we go. We're going to plug that in and we're going to have, well, we can write it out 625 times 17 times minus 33. And if you do that on your calculator, you get about 26.93 meters. And the mast from the water point was 28, so therefore it will fit. Okay, and just in conclusion, we're going to do the other format. So this was equation in factored form. What's the equation in vertex form? So you should have learned both of these skills um, from your quadratic work. And you can look back in my, uh, my playlist, the last one, everything you need to know about quadratics, but we're afraid to ask, right? So in this case, we have H and K. That's the vertex. Remember, this is H, this is K. So H was 25 and K is 30. And one of the points on the graph, well, let's use 0, 0. Okay, so Y equals A, X minus H squared plus K. So I have Y is 0. I'm solving for A. I put in my x is 0, minus h, minus 25, squared, plus k, plus 30. So I'm going to bring the 30 to the other side here, makes it minus 30. I'm going to square minus 25, that's going to give me 625a. Doesn't this look familiar? a equals minus 30 over 625. So obviously my A value has to be the same. Doesn't matter which format I use, I should still get the same A value. Okay, so equation will be Y equals A X minus H was 25 plus k. So both of these equations, this is your vertex form for this parabola, and that's your factored form. And now you would do the same thing where you would plug in 17 here and see what height you get. Okay, so I hope that helps you with your um, bridges and tunnels kinds of questions, and we'll be doing a couple more different types of questions in the next few videos. Good night.